Theodore Rousseau, a prominent figure in the 19th century French art scene, left a lasting mark on the world of landscape painting. Born on April 15, 1842, in Paris, Rousseau's passion for nature and art blossomed at an early age. He found solace and inspiration in the serene landscapes of France, particularly the forest of Fontainebleau, which would become an inspiration for several of his paintings near his home in Barbizon. Rousseau's artistic journey was not without its challenges. Initially trained under the guidance of neoclassical painter Guillaume Guillon Lethier, Rousseau later rebelled against the strict conventions of academic art. He found freedom and expression in the burgeoning Barbizon school, which consisted of a group of artists who sought to capture the beauty and authenticity of rural life and landscape. At the heart of Rousseau's artistic philosophy lay a deep reverence for nature. He believed in painting in plain air directly from nature to capture its moments and nuances. Rousseau's dedication to authenticity and his keen observation of light, atmosphere, and texture set him apart as a master of landscape painting. One of Rousseau's works on display at the Getty Museum, Forest of Fontainebleau, cluster of tall trees overlooking the plain of Clairvoyance at the edge of Basbrou, exemplifies his master mastery of the genre. Painted somewhere between 1849 and to 1852, the work showcases Rousseau's ability to evoke the sublime beauty and tranquility of the forest. The painting transports the viewer to the heart of Fontainebleau, a place Rousseau knew intimately. Towering trees stretch toward the sky, their verdant foliage creating a canopy that filters sunlight into dappled patterns on the forest floor. The play of light and shadow imbues the scene with a sense of depth and atmosphere inviting the viewer to immerse themselves in the natural world. Rousseau's skillful handling of paint is evident in the intricate details of the foliage and the texture of the forest floor. Each brush stroke is imbued with a sense of vitality and movement, capturing the dynamic energy of the landscape. The artist's use of a muted color palette dominated by shades of green and brown enhanced the feeling of serenity and harmony within the scene. Central to the composition is the cluster of tall trees overlooking the plain of clear voice. These majestic sentinels stand as silent witnesses to the passage of time, their gnarled branches reaching toward the heavens. Rousseau imbues these trees with a sense of grandeur and permanence contrasting their steadfastness with transient beauty of the natural world. Forest of Fontainebleau reflects Rousseau's profound connection to the landscape and his reverence for its untamed beauty. Through his meticulous observation and sensitive rendering, he invites the viewer to contemplate the sublime power of nature and to find solace and inspiration in its eternal rhythms. In conclusion, Theodore Rousseau's life and work epitomizes the spirit of the Barbizon school in the Romantic movement. His dedication to capturing the essence of nature and his mastery of landscape painting continue to inspire artists and art lovers alike to this day. Through work such as Forest of Fontainebleau, Rousseau reminds us of the timeless beauty and significance of the natural world. Edgar Degas, a central figure in the Impressionist movement, revolutionized the art world with his innovative approach to depicting modern life. Born on July 19, 1834, in Paris, Degas came from a wealthy family with a passion for the arts. His father, a banker, encouraged his artistic pursuits, and Degas began his formal training at an early age. Degas initially studied at the École de Beaux Arts, where he honed his skills in drawing and painting. However, he was deeply influenced by the works of the old masters, particularly the classical sculptures of ancient Greece and Rome. 
This fascination with form and movement was becoming homework of Degas's artistic style. Despite his classical training, Degas rejected the traditional academic approach to art. Instead, he sought to capture the spontaneity and vibrancy of modern life. He became associated with the Impressionist movement, a group of artists who eschewed academic conventions in favor of capturing the fleeting effects of light and color. Degas's subject matter was diverse, ranging from ballet dancers and horses to intimate domestic scenes. He had a keen eye for human gesture and expression, and his paintings often exude a sense of drama and tension. Degas was also a master of composition, using unconventional cropping and asymmetry to create dynamic and visually arresting images. One of Degas's most famous works, the Milner's on display at the Getty exemplifies his talent for capturing the essence of modern urban life. Painted in 1882, the work depicts two young women working in a millinery shop, surrounded by bolts of fabric and hats. Degas's bold use of color and energetic brushwork imbues the sense, imbues the scene with a sense of vitality and movement. The composition of the milliners is carefully orchestrated to draw the viewer's eye to the milliner on the left. The goss creates a sense of depth and space through the strategic placement of the figures and the use of diagonal lines and perspective. The viewer is invited to linger over the face of the milliner who is staring blankly. It gives an aura, aura of mysteriousness and sorrow. Central to the composition is the interaction between the two milliners. Degas captures a moment of intimacy and a look at her own inner thoughts. Despite the apparent spontaneity of the scene, Degas carefully observes the human behavior, lending the painting a sense of psychological depth and complexity. The woman on the left appears though she is not present in her work and her mind is elsewhere, like we the viewers may have felt before, while the other is focused working. The Milner is also notable for its exploration of gender and class dynamics. The Goss was fascinated by the changing roles of women in society, and his paintings often depict women engaged in various forms of labor and leisure. Here the Milners are portrayed as skilled artisans, their work both a means of economic independence and a form of self-expression. In conclusion, Edgar Degas's life and work are a testament to his enduring influence on the art world. His innovative approach to the composition, his keen observation of human behavior, and his bold experimentation with color and form continue to inspire artists and art lovers alike. Through his work such as the Milner's, Degas invites us to glimpse the beauty and complexity of modern urban life, capturing the essence of the world.